Hey guys, today is February the 20th of 2019. I want to go over the Aussie dollar using WDGAN price and time technical analysis. A few things on this uh, video. I've uh, incorporated a webcam, so I'm trying to noodle around with technology to see how this thing works and just kind of get a little more experience. Uh, this is kind of more like a <clears throat> like a test run, but we'll see how it goes. Let's see if uh, the quality is good and all that. So I wanted to go over the Aussie dollars. I haven't done a video in a long time. I've been out and about uh, traveling, doing other projects, and finally got some time to uh, lay out a video and, uh, you know, just cover some things, show you some things, what I'm seeing, whatnot, and then uh, take it from there. So let's look at the Aussie. Um, first off, uh, this is a retracement uh, chart I have. This is just all retracements from different levels. We see that right here. We're at the uh, 50, which is at 71.74 right here, kind of chucking along. Uh, in the next 10 minutes, it's 12.51. We should have FOMC minutes coming out, so it should be interesting to see how that, that plays out. Uh, this is another level 7207 and obviously the twenty. So what I do is I will, you know, I take swings and and just kind of see where prices could be heading. Uh, there's another one here, 7185. So that's a 50% level. So if whatever uh, the minutes is, that could be that 85 could be a, a target. And right now from this swing, we're at the 50% here. And then, you know, you're far away from here and below here. And this is different swing points and different uh, percent uh, retracement levels from uh, all the swings from like the history from 19, I don't know, 72 or whatever data from all the way back there. So as you blow this up, you'll see bigger levels. So that's that. So we're going to keep an eye on that. And let's minimize this. Let's go to this chart. Oh, it's the same one. This one right here. So this is my uh, squares. I call this squares a nine, and this is uh, squaring the range. So it's a different from retracements. Uh, you can't just have all this stuff all in one chart. You go nuts. But if you break it down in in you know compartments, then you know it's easy on the eye. And uh, this one, you can see this was a trading day, and you can see that it's it's. Picking up different things, you know, uh, timing uh, so between trading uh, days and calendar days, you could you could see some stuff happening. As right now, you can see that we just hit this uh, uh, time level here, and it, it could you know continue going higher. There's nothing in the uh, uh, stopping it. If you go to uh, calendar day and you zoom in a little bit. You can see that uh, that could be a possible target all the way up here. And this is where it's dancing around. And that's using the um, 66.52, which is the swing low of uh, that uh, January 3rd. Uh, this is another squaring uh, ratio, 81.55. And you can see if we uh, zoom out. Oops. I don't know where it went. There we go. You can see that on, on this one, uh, picked up the 130 here, came down. This is the uh, another uh, square box uh, change there. And you can see that this one looks nicer because it's respecting this angle going up. And that's using the uh, 81.55 ratio. Uh, and you can see that here it, it turns. So it's finding nice turns here, and this is using calendar day. If you switch it to trading day, it doesn't pick up, well, it picked up this turn, so you see, and picked up the one-third. So there's some things you could just, you know, rotate going back and forth and see what works. So this is what's, uh, this is what's happening now with the uh, Aussie. It's kind of open air. This could be possible resistance. So, you know, I kind of go back and forth looking at what's going on over here on these levels uh, using the square. Uh, then from there... We go to the square of nine. This is when we want to get a little closer and see what's happening. So we bring this here. 
So we use the square of nine and see what we have on the standard. Uh, it's almost heading, you know, hitting, kissing over here that 7183, which is that uh, uh, 15075 degree right there. So that could be a possible target. And if it blows through there, then the next one will be that 7225. Uh, and it's not guaranteed, folks. It's just, just levels that you just want to see. Uh, using the floating, we can see that it's at the 570 degree, which is at 7179. So it's budding around a lot of levels here. You know, it could, it could kiss 7193, 7207, which is a 600 degree right up there. Um, which one I know is going to kiss? That I don't know. I just know those are the levels. So once I see that price action hits it and it starts, you know, stalling, you know, that's how you know you decide if you're going to short it or just get out and lock in profits. So far right now, it's holding the 180 degree at the 7150. And if it pops with whatever news on the FOMC, uh, that could be a possible target too, 7204 and even higher. This is a 360 degree, which is at 7320 right up there. So far, let's see what's going on there. Uh, in regards to uh, Neuronet, I was running this last night, and uh, uh, this is more like algorithms, you know, uh, finding patterns and uh, back testing it. And so far, it says that it's going to get a pop today, uh, the 20th, but that it's going to tank all the way to the 22nd. So let's see how this uh, model works. This is something that it's uh, forecasting in the future. As you can see, today's the 20th. I don't have any data in there. I left it blank. So it was running from uh, the last swing high to uh, the 20th and was doing its uh, algorithm and uh, neural net analyzing, looking for patterns and, you know, uh, curve fitting and everything. And this is so far what it came up with. So we get a pop to the 20th, which is today. And so far, if you look at price action, um, it's getting a nice little pop. This is my GAN grid. If you don't know, if you don't know what a GAN grid is, look at my videos. Uh, this is what I create. Uh, I always do it on all my charts, especially when I have a swing low, like on the one third of that 6652. Get the uh, first impulse wave. I uh, decided to get the 131 right here. And this is what we have right now. So this is the price action. So let's see if we get a nice pop. Uh, so the models are saying pop and then drop. And then we'll look. This is for this week. It, it should make a low on Friday in theory. Uh, you know, price action is going to do what it's going to do. But this is what the models are saying. So let's see how that pans out. And then lastly, we can see that um, we, got, uh, we got a few things here. We got the candles in blue in signifying strength. Uh, we got the 100 moving average right here is the sand in the line for me. And there's a couple of levels I'm watching is price clusters. So we start off with our cycles. Cycles are saying that we should be topping up here between the 22nd. And it should go down all the way to uh, March the 7th. That's what the cycle is saying. There's a few things that I know that I was doing some analysis. Uh, the 24th is like a square out. Anywhere between the 22nd. Uh, the model is saying the 22nd is going to be a swing low. Uh, so it's going to probably top out today. But if it continues going up, uh, plan B would be that it's going to go up to the 24th which is, what is the 24th, a uh, Sunday? So it's 24th, 25th, it should be going up and then and then tank. There's like a score out happening uh, right here from this swing low. So we'll see how that pans out. But the models are definitely kind of lining up with the uh, forecast. 25th, swing top, uh, ADX, nothing there. Elliott uh, trigger, this is one thing I, I like to see. Like you see here, it's going up, it's going up. We put a swing high here. We put this candle, and then we put this third candle. You see it, it's like a call it like a hockey stick. I learned this from uh, David Elliott uh, from uh, Think or Swim. And we got a hockey stick here. So it's kind of telling me that, you know what, it could be a possible reversal here. So that's kind of confirming that. Uh, nothing there. MACD is crossing over, so that's going against us. Looks like it wants to go even higher. So let's see how that pans out. Uh, the Stokes are positive, pointing up. 
So we'll see how that pans out. And then our time clusters are showing the 26th, 25th, 22nd, somewhere between the 22nd, 26th. Uh, there should be uh, a reversal coming. RSI positive, and uh, this is uh, going positive, going higher. So we'll see how that pans out. Uh, looking at our targets, you can see in the trend line, we're you know trying to get up, up, up this trend line here, or this uh, auto trend, uh, I should call it. Uh, there's a possible target. It hit you know this target here, and if it goes continue higher, there's going to be a possible target here uh, within time and price. Uh, price targets or time targets would be the 26, which lines up there. Uh, the 27th, which confirms all the other stuff that I've been showing you. And this goes into the future uh, March 4th and uh, March the 7th. Those are time targets for uh, swing pivots uh, within time. Levels, so this could be also a level if it continues going higher, 73.97. We will see. I think we just hit uh, 1 o'clock. FOMC. Not a lot going on. It's kind of stalling there. I don't even know what the uh, results are. But we'll find out once this video is over. Uh, what else I wanted to go over? Uh, I think that's it. And then the GAN box from right here. Another thing to keep in watch is that we end, uh, we end right here 36. And that's on the 22nd. So remember, 22nd. Uh, 25th, 26th, 27th, somewhere around here. If it doesn't turn and follow, you know, the model that we have working here, uh, then these are some other possible uh, swing pivot points, uh, time cycles that are going to turn the Aussie. Hopefully you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, sorry it's been a while. I've been uh, out of the loop. I'm trying to get back into... Uh, being proactive with the channel and posting videos. So I'll uh, keep you posted on my thoughts on, on the markets and especially on the Aussie dollar, which I like to trade. Uh, I was long uh, yesterday and then realized there was FOMC coming out today. I was like, I don't even want to be in this mess. Uh, and plus that the uh, price entry I was in it was 71.60 or 69. I can't remember or 66. It was just going back and forth through that price range. And I was like, I don't want to be in this chop. It's not even trending. It's not going up. It's not going down. The dollar is not going lower. So I just decided, let me just get the hell out of here. Whatever happens tomorrow, uh, follow price action. If it's going up, jump in and ride. If it's going down, we'll just look at these models and look at these levels and just kind of pick my, uh, my, uh, Support resistance, price levels, where to get in, where to get out, and then just take it from there. So I'm going to sign out, and uh, hopefully you like these videos, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts.